If you're looking for cheap and reliable coins, check the link in the description for FIFA coins. And they're selling for £2 per 100k on the Xbox and about £2 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 11-15, to your favourite players. This is going to be episode 4 and today we are going to be showcasing some very, very sweaty cards from past FIFAs. And uh, apparently they were some of your favourite players, so let's get straight into episode 4 of your favourite players. And moving on to your first suggestion for your favourite player guys, we've got a comment from Ben McHugh and he commented on Van Der Hoff FIFA 12, keeping it short and simple, and I have to agree, this guy was one of the main, like, probably the biggest and sweatiest players in that time in FIFA, uh, was it, yeah, it was FIFA 12, sorry, and uh, he was ridiculously good on that game, him and, uh, well, I'm actually not going to spoil the next card that's going to come up because obviously it's going to be a striker partnership, this one, and uh, Van Der Hoff is a main part of it, and then of course the next player that I will be covering is a huge part of it as well but Agbonlahar 75 rated striker literally just clinging onto the gold part of his um, career and then of course I think after this FIFA he actually went into like a 73 or 74 silver worth like 90k coins instead of a 2k gold very very overpowered um, card but yeah 75 rated striker card in FIFA 12 and he had 93 pace, 73 shooting, 65 passing, 73 dribbling, and 75 heading. Four star weak foot and three star skill moves. This guy was ridiculously good, so cheap. And um, yeah, let's move on to his, uh, you know, let's move on to his partner in crime, um, the sweatiest other player alongside him. And moving on to the second striker of this episode, and of course it is going to be the striker partnership that was completely deadly on FIFA 12, and it is of course going to be Darren Bent alongside Agbon Lahar. These two playing for exactly the same team, exactly the same nation, very similar stats. These two were incredibly alike, and uh, personally I did prefer uh, Agbon Lahar, but the comment did come from FIFA some. He said Darren Bent, FIFA 12, he just ran and scored OP as hell, and like I said, I think I preferred Agbon Lahar. He was just much... He felt much, much faster than Darren Bent, but both of them together were ridiculous, and you saw it a lot in FIFA 12 BPL teams, or just BPL hybrids, um, sort of, I guess, you know, sort of when uh, when you could just link the striker, striker, and cam in 3-5-2. You would see that a lot, um, but yeah, it was a fantastic uh, striker combination to use. Very sweaty, very good, um, but yeah, it just takes you back to the FIFA, you know, the old FIFA days where you could just run and run and run, and it, <laughs> it was so ridiculously easy to play that game back then, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit harder to play it nowadays, but Darren Bent and, um, and Adik Bomha, two fantastic strikers, and apparently they were two of your favourite players. And moving on to the next suggestion, guys, we're going to be talking about Dede, the world's best, like, Brazilian centre-back when he was in FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. He literally had exactly the same card. 81 pace, 81 defending, and 82 heading was exactly the same on FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. So this guy, uh, Philip Horan, has commented... Pato, Dede, Neymar, all Brazilians, all fantastic on FIFA 13, but I'm actually going to choose the, the Dede from FIFA 12 because I personally think that that was the best one. He was incredibly good, very low rated, and you could put him in, you know, so many Brazilian teams, link him with Santana, link him with Naldo. Um, who, is there any other good centre-backs? Thiago Silva, David Luiz, etc, etc. They were all incredibly good and incredibly cheap, and you could just have the best Brazilian teams back then with all these five-star skillers, and of course, with all the Brazilian leagues still intact, and, you know, all these Brazilian, Brazilian five-star skillers that you could use. The game was so, so fun on FIFA 12, and it was probably one of my favourite FIFAs. That and FIFA 11, I mean, there's absolutely no stopping how good those FIFAs were. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're probably not going to have any times like that again. Um, but the Brazilian League isn't even in FIFA 15, so it's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of annoying to, to not be able to use a lot of those players again. But, anyway, Dede on FIFA 12, he was definitely amazing, and he was apparently one of your favourite players. And moving on to the next player, guys, we're going to be talking about Di Natale from FIFA 14, a comment from Trigger Tobbs, and he said, Di Natale from FIFA 14 was an absolute tank, and once again, I have to agree, this guy was like the perfect Mikkeli replacement from FIFA 12 to FIFA 13. Mikkeli was like dominating the, the striker partnerships in Syria, and of course, Italian uh, Italian side teams, and uh, and then as soon as Di Natale just blast onto the market, of course, he was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he was good like throughout all FIFAs, but then they gave him a, a ridiculous FIFA 14 card, which he obviously thoroughly deserves. He's been a fantastic um, servant for Udinese since playing there, and he's been playing there for bloody ages as well, so 
uh, the, you know, the utmost respect for players that can play there for so long. Um, <clears throat> but Dia Natale, 85 rated striker, 86 pace, 86 shooting, 87 dribbling, 60 heading, and 80 passing. Just very, very, very similar stats to Mikkeli from FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. I think the, uh, they were very, very similar stats um, between those two cards. But yeah, Dia Natale was like the new Mikkeli sort of, but an even better improved version because he was 85 rated striker as well. So four star skirmers as well, four star weak foot, fantastic player to use, and he was one of your favorite players. And moving on to the final player for this episode, guys, we're going to be talking about Wellison. A comment from Albana Elham, and he basically said, Well, it's on FIFA 13, once again, keeping it short and simple. And uh, I have to agree, this guy was absolutely ridiculously overpowered. You could use him with so many players. You could use him with a strong link to Emenike. You could use him with Eto. You could use him with... Um, McGeady, there were so many possible links with this guy, it was ridiculously easy to put him into a team and you would see him so often in FIFA 13, but um, he was definitely very, very good when you, when, you know, when you're playing against him, obviously it's really frustrating, but when you was playing with him, you just felt, you know, why, you, you understood why everybody basically was using him, because he was ridiculously good, he had four-star skillers as well, so you could fit him in, into any nice skill team, and, you know, you could have four-star skillers and five-star skillers, that's what I used to do a lot, I used to have, like, Wellerton on the, like, on striker, Emanike sat next to him, and then on the wings I had, um, I had Bagidi, and then there was another, I swear there was another five-star skill, it was Basufa, I think it was, in cam, and they were just ri ridiculously good on that game, um, but yeah, fantastic players, and of course, Wellerton was one of your favourite players. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of Your Favourite Players. Hopefully you guys don't mind this series. I mean, obviously, it's just, uh, you know, a sort of fun thing to look back at and look at some old cards that we always used to love and used to, you know, always play with. But um, I just really haven't been playing FIFA or, you know, enjoying FIFA really recently. As you can probably tell, I haven't uploaded anything game really, you know, sort of game related in a very long time, probably like a month or so now. But I do apologise for that. I'll hopefully get around to getting some gameplay in soon and maybe some squad builds or something. But at the moment, I'm just... I'm, I'm enjoying just reminiscing on other FIFA's, so hopefully you guys don't mind that as well, but comment down below um, any play any of your favourite players, and obviously you'll have, a chance to uh, you'll have a chance to feature in the next episode, but apart from that, thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and follow me on Twitter, I just come back for, and apart from that guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.